in marriage, there are, there are highs and lows. But as long as you stay together, as, as long as you acknowledge Jesus as the third cord, whatever comes your way, you'll be able to carry or walk out any challenge that may come your way. And so and Jesus is the third cord in your strand. And so invite Him into your marriage. Invite Him into your life. And as you do that, um, the Bible says that as we acknowledge Him, He will direct our, our path. I love you. Done. <laughs> the card does say I would keep it short. I hope that made you laugh because you're probably as nervous as I am right now and could use a laugh. Our wedding day is finally here. Donna, you're very lucky to have him. And Dan, same for you. You're very lucky to have Sana. To the newlyweds, may your marriage be filled with love, laughter, and endless joy. Here's to many years of happiness, unforgettable memories, and countless adventures together. Find your purpose in your marriage. It can be anything, but just reflect on that and think about that and wish you guys all the best. Cheers. I want to congratulate you both and wish you all the best for all of the years that you're together. I feel very honoured to know them both and privileged to call them both my friend. Here's to Dan and Sana. May your love and happiness be today and beyond and wish you the best for the future. So Daniel, I direct this to you. Do you take Sana as your wife in Christian marriage to live together after the principles of God's word? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, keeping yourself only to her as long as you both shall live? A thousand times I do. And now, as we continue on this journey together, I promise to love you even when you flop the windows in the car after just having dessert. I promise to continue to bespo upon you my angelic singing voice sporadically throughout the day. I promise to uphold the strong communication lines we have built together. I promise to support you through whatever challenges life may bring. I promise to annoy you also every single day. And finally, I promise to fill our lives with love and warmth to the best of my ability for the rest of our days. Sana, I can't believe that six years ago, the girl, gorgeous girl that I met on our first date with the cute subtle freckles and the smile that changed my life is standing here in front of me, soon to be my wife. Before I met you, I thought I knew what the perfect partner was. I never imagined I'd find someone that would completely exceed all my expectations in every single way and so much more. You have the ability to make those around you feel loved and valued. Your thoughtfulness is unmatched. Your loyalty is a pillar of strength in our relationship. Your sincerity and honesty are genuine. And your confidence to try new things is truly inspiring, whether it be dancing in front of a crowd or singing in a competition, you never back down from a challenge. Sana first saw Daniel on a virtual screen whilst we were both out walking her dog at the dog park. 
she didn't bring her glasses and could see enough that Daniel had a dog. <laughs> Who knew that a simple swipe right on a dating app on a cute guy hugging his dog would ignite the spark that fueled our romance for the next six years? We've both grown so much over these years and I've come to love so many things about you. I love your kind heart and your thoughtfulness towards everyone around you. You're always picking up subtle cues and thinking from their perspective. I adore your love for animals. I was genuinely surprised to find someone more fond of them than I am. We recently had about 30 doves as proof. <laughs> I love your gentle soul and strong mind. You always stand firm in your beliefs. I love how you push me to be a stronger person and support me to reach for my goals. I love how you believe in me, even when I don't believe in myself. I can see you love each other dearly and uh, trust is a very good match. Um, thank, thank you, Daniel, for and her. Um, respect each other as uh, individuals and um, yeah, share your life together and full of love forever. Now you two are getting married, I'm going to give you one piece of advice, Daniel. Just do the dishes. <laughs> I'd like to do a toast to the happily new married couple, to Daniel and Sarah. In our time together, we've shared so many special moments from learning how to snowboard to risking our lives parasailing on an extremely frayed and thin cable that I for sure thought that was going to snap. We've even done the, uh, the bungee drop and tapo together where I held on to you for dear life, screaming at the top of my lungs. These things I would have never done if it wasn't for you, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Out of all the memories that we share together though, the most precious one is when you first told me that you loved me. It was on the plane back from Queenstown, our first trip together. You looked over at me and told me that you loved me, and then you fell asleep. <laughs> Reflecting on our time together so far, I know I'm so blessed to have you in my life. Each year, you show me the luck that you love me more than the last. And every year that passes, I fall deeper in love with you. I could have never have dreamed to find someone as amazing as you. I love how you make me laugh every single day with your silly dancing and weird antics. I even appreciate you deliberately annoying me to bring fun into everyday life. I love how hardworking and smart you are, even though I'm smarter. I love knowing you will always listen to my concerns with an open mind and I love working together as a partnership in all things. I love the way you look at me with love in your eyes and I love how you make me feel safe even in my dreams. I promise to always love you and deeply and completely as you deserve to be loved, cherishing every moment that we share. I promise to protect you support you and always stand by your side you'll never have to face anything alone i promise to remain faithful to you always prioritizing our relationship above all else i promise to continue to work on myself every day because you deserve the very best version of me and nothing less i promise to fill our days with laughter making joy and humor the heart of our home and lastly i promise to be your unwavering supporter your biggest fan cheering you on not just on stage but through every moment of our lives together. You are my confidant, my support, and my comfort. Thank you for being the one I never thought I needed, but now I can't imagine my life without. Thank you for being my person, my hope. I'm so grateful 
to have you in my life. And I look forward to spending the rest of my life growing the laugh lines you say you work so hard for. I love you, Daniel Bell, and can't wait to call you my husband. The groom may now kiss the bride.